Yeah, we stay in gear, we lift the tent, feet in the air, yeah. On the ski electric chair, cell block, feel to the rim. Get crips, north, thangles, and rims. Keep letting small things slide, you won't win. Die, survive, do your time, take it in stride. Swap, long, pump, live, for a deal, gone, flop, sign. And while we walk, niggas on the yard, when it's fun time. The hood's evil, I know better than the child's line. And she knows what it's impact, the ground with zero. See, people get cut in eight lights of free roll. Leave them bleeding, guess I'm free, need me, they miss your hero. Be the reason they y'all wild and wet and the weirdo. Tis the season to get drippy, cooking the kilo. Gnarly as CeeLo, that's how the way you look it. Extinct in the precinct, I'd rather see booking. I mean, we like to preach red and blue make green, black and brown make green, but it always gonna get... Take some, thanks. Here you go. Cheap noodles, great quality. Looking for could get uh, some rhinoceros horn? I don't believe in those newfangled drugs they got. But a man hits a certain age, he needs a little help, you know? Oh. 
Wong is a real fix-it. I wouldn't even tell you about her, but I can't keep up anymore. Hey, you know where I could get uh, some rhinoceros horn? I don't believe in those newfangled drugs they got. When a man hits a certain age, he needs a little help, you know? Feel your zen from here. If you must stand alone against a great enemy, you might as well look good doing it, hey, ah? Huh? Hey, you! You hungry, huh? Come here! You wear that in public? Get in here! I help you out! Hey, you! Yeah, you! You need better clothes? Of course you do! Glad to have meat! Makes you strong! Real men, watch real meat! You look like you could use a pork bun. Hey, come on. I got a friend to do in town. There's a good one. Looks amazing on you. Fits you perfect. Come on! A man who never eats pork buns is <sighs> never I'm a starving. whole man! Oh, you like that one. I know it. Why don't you have a pork bun in your hand? Hey, wait! I eat all my pork buns! I got it cheap! You want good You want ice cream? You look like you could use a little. and flaky. Always good. You like? Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. 
Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, uh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with, too, Wei. It's very important. Wei, what are you doing? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Wei. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! <laughs> That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. And my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too. And that drove her crazy. So bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but... But a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? Here we are. Ah, oh, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower, and now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. 
The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told him they offered Temple one hundred thousand dollar. They still say no. <laughs> It's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh well, Wei. Come on, we can go now. All right. Next, we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out. Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> And your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the states? <sighs> yeah, you know she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with. You know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know. Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. You know, it's good to remember where you came from and where you're going. Lucy and Hawks Radio. Hey, isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast. Winston, I got the... Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh -oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that orchid. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. 
have any family here at all? Uh, no. Not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers. Uncles and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> You're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here, I'll be right back. Wait here, I'll be right back. What are you doing here? When, it, when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. I, I, I am here and not here. I um, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. What is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true.
You got them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are going to make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, cops, perfect. Hiya. Don't scratch the paint. Thank you, Wei. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Now sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. You have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope, I know, women's intuition. It's the same with Winston, he talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's... The secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. What's it like in America? Um, uh, less crowded. I guess. Do you like it better here or there? In some ways, I was more comfortable there, but it wasn't home. It's important to have a home. But I'm not sure. Hong Kong. Home is home. Thanks for being so helpful, Wei. I really appreciate it. Of course. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you.
Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Your mother must be proud of you. Hey, what can I do for you? Hi, man. Sophisticated. Only the finest business attire. Will you be paying cash? Will you be paying cash? Would you like to wear it out? Would you like to wear it out? As an elite customer, please do not hesitate to ask for me personally next time. Only Takes the guts to wear that. Look, 
Come again. I got clothes! Sure, why not? I got clothes! Thanks, come again! Thank you, sir! Takes guts to wear that! Wait, can you help me out? I'm leaving a few seconds. Oh, it is a good driver. What is it this time? Huh? Let's go. What the hell was that? Yeah, Shablipteyeg was cheating at the cards last night. Thought I'd teach him a lesson. Some fucking lesson. <laughs> Bet he doesn't cheat again. Get right up! What the hell was that? Yeah, Shablip the Yig was cheating at the cards last night. Thought I'd teach him a lesson. Some fucking lesson. <laughs> Bet he doesn't cheat again. You! I'm throwing this. Oh shit. Think you can lose him? You gonna pull this shit, you gotta learn to drive. Get behind us. Anyway.